Hi, I'm Brent Johnson. And I'm Nicole Keller. And we're in St. Louis for the Pipe Organ Encounter 2019. So it's Friday, it's the last day of the POE. We've just finished with the student recital. We heard 21 fantastic students, some of them performing for the very first time. Yeah. Now you have two students, tell me about the two students you talked. The two students I had actually had already had a little bit of organ study, so they brought some pieces that they had been working on with them, and they did quite well with them actually. We were able to work on uh, some registrations and some different things, talking about uh, performance uh, aspects and all of that, and visiting, of course, all the wonderful instruments that we saw all week. All right, so you weren't having to introduce them completely to the organ. They actually had some experience. They did, some yes, matters. correct. So, mm -hmm. so some of the, yeah, some of the teachers were, it was more about just the basics of playing the organ, what's right. the difference between the piano. Now, all of them had some piano playing skills, yes, correct? Absolutely. So uh, so we heard some piano work sort of played on the mm -hmm. organ. Yep. It was an opportunity. A whole range of skills, though, in, in these 21 students. Absolutely. We heard, actually, quite a virtuosic piece at the end of the recital yeah. and at the beginning of the recital some simple pieces we probably all played on the right, piano. Right. I heard yeah. some familiar things yeah. in there too <laughs> and remembered playing some of those first recitals exactly. so it's amazing to exactly. watch how far how far these kids will get to mm -hmm. go. Um, so well this was a fantastic day we're, we're outside of First Congregational Church where the recital was performed on the big Austin organ and now the students will be uh, departing to their various locations. They came from all over the country, as Horst had yes. mentioned before, mm -hmm. uh, uh, from the East Coast uh, in Michigan and, and all the way down in Florida. So yeah. uh, the service is a wide area. Uh, and as Karen said, these happen uh, in various places across the country each year. Mm -hmm. um, and there are ways you can help support the POEs and make sure these continue to happen and we continue to train young organists. Uh, next year, there's going to be three POEs, just like there were this year. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be in Hartford, Connecticut, in uh, the Piedmont region, which is Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and there's one in Long Beach, California. So if you're in those areas, uh, there's some ways you can support the Guild. One is just join anywhere you are in the country. You can, anybody can be a member. We Absolutely. support organists and non-organists alike. Yeah. Uh, your help can go to promoting education of new organists. Uh, so that's one way you can join. If you are a member, um, you can you volunteer with your chapter. If your chapter's putting on a POE, or you can volunteer to put one on in the future. Yeah. Uh, it's all just organists that make this happen. It's, yes. it's, there's no Absolutely. special training. Uh, even though you are a professor, we do bring in intelligent <laughs> teachers <laughs> like Nicole to come help us uh, train these students. So, uh, But even if you're not a, a college professor, you can help uh, with your local chapter put on a POE. A third thing you can do is you can contribute to the chapters that are putting on the POEs. Uh, I listed the chapters that are. They'll have websites up soon uh, where they'll accept contributions. The 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 student registration fees don't cover all of the expenses. No, they don't. Um, yeah. I mean, it, maybe they're room and board, but we have to move people around, yeah. uh, rent equipment, things like that. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> your financial help is always appreciated. Um, the last thing is there are a number of scholarships mm -hmm. that are named um, that help students participate. Even so, even if they can't afford the registration fees, there are scholarships that will assist them. Uh, and so the, a lot of those are listed on the AGO website, which is agohq.org. We'll put a link down in the description. There are many ways you can support young organists, and so we're very happy that we have people like you to help uh, teach them and all of the St. Louis chapter. So thank you to all of them. I also want to add there are some other types of POEs. Now this year we had a POE Tech, which happened in Chicago. Uh, those happen every other year, so there'll be one in 2021. Uh, in 2020 we have the POE Plus, which is for um, more advanced or I guess professional organists who want a little help brushing up their skills. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, I've never participated in one of those, but it sounds like an interesting thing. I haven't either but you know we all need a little brushing up every once in a while. Right, so there will be three of those next year. Uh, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, Richmond, Virginia, and Rockford, Illinois will have one. So again, look at those chapter websites. We'll put links to those if we've got them down in the description and you can find those. And then finally, uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, I assume that's going to be at the University of Michigan, mm -hmm. will be holding a POE Advanced, which is for students who have graduated beyond the level of high school. Maybe it's for college students. Uh, again, there'll be more information about that on their website. You can find it at agohq.org. Mm -hmm. And finally, all of this is really funded by APOBA, the Associated Pipe Organ Builders of America. They're the ones that make it possible for us to put these on, for us to be here. If you need a pipe organ anywhere, your house, your church, your gymnasium, they will help you find the best way to do it. They uphold stringent standards of pipe organ building, especially with, with use of electronic stops. So uh, contact them at apoba.com and they'll help you out with that. Thank you, Nicole, for a wonderful week again My here. Pleasure. And uh, I'm Brent Johnson. That's it for this year. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.